I am redoing this entire video because I was so low energy that I bored myself. So let's do this again now that I've already had a good portion of my coffee. So good morning. I am so happy to see you today. So glad that you could join me for a little bit of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you are drinking. Let me know what you've got down there in the comments. Today I am having some almost finished iced coffee with some Califia Farms mint chocolate creamer because it's one of my favorites and it is only 15 calories a tablespoons a tablespoons which means that I can have many again let me know down in the comments what you are drinking with me today if you are drinking something having some tea or coffee go ahead and let me know if you have any suggestions for stuff that I should try on this channel please let me know, that would be amazing. If you would like to join me and us three to five times a week for a little bit of morning tea time, coffee time, hangout, chatty hour, go ahead and press the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it so that you know every time that I post and we can hang out the same day. I think I'm getting slightly better at doing the YouTube thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Uh, if you if you want to let me know, leave this video a like. Yeah, I, I did that really well. Today, as I mentioned in a previous video, I am going to talk about um, what yoga versus what lifting has taught me about my body and rebuilding my relationship with my body after having suffered with dysmorphia, which that never goes away. I obviously still have my moments, but um, for the most part, I am tremendously better than where I used to be. Spoiler alert, I still do both of those things. They both make me feel amazing and they both have their value as far as what they add to my daily experience. When I was young, I was obese. I lost the weight. However, my relationship with my body was tumultuous to say the least about that. Also. I know I had nail polish on the last uh, video. I can't wear regular nail polish. I will peel it off the same exact day. So that's why I do poly gel nails at home by myself anyway. So my relationship with my body was very damaged from my experiences. I judged each and every piece of my body. My body felt so discombobulated and disconnected. I felt like my pieces of my body didn't look the way that a human body was supposed to look. And I was constantly, constantly comparing myself to others and wishing that I lived in any other body except my own. There was such a huge disconnect between me and my body. And this showed especially on stage whenever I'm performing. Um, I did theater in high school. I did chorus in high school. I am an opera singer. I take voice lessons and do recitals and perform. Um, but it, like, I did not know how to emote through my actions. I would not know what to do with my arms. I was such an awkward mover, awkward dancer. I just, I could, I didn't know how to translate what was going on in my head through my body because to me, they were two different entities. There was me and there was the body that I lived in. The thing that really started to bring me back in touch with my own body and rebuild that relationship that I had with it was fitness. At first, when I got to college, I started going to the gym because it was free, it was there, and I wanted to make my body look better. I wanted to feel better about my body. But things really started changing for me when a good friend of mine taught me how to lift. And I mean like lift heavy, like lifting. Lifting is so both physically and mentally so rewarding. I remember that this is when I started to really appreciate my body. I was seeing it get stronger and stronger and do amazing things. And not only was I, you know, just changing the shape of my body and watching my body accomplish things, but I felt like I, as one with my body, 
I was blossoming, I was accomplishing these things. I overall was feeling a lot stronger and a lot more confident. Um, lifting has been in my life now for about four years, maybe longer than that, maybe almost five. And I obviously still do it. However, I do it a lot less these days because I don't feel super comfortable going to the gyms right now with our current situation. So I don't go very often. Um, and I don't have big lifting equipment in my apartment. There's a while and I still do this at times where I will lift bags of cat litter because that is the heaviest thing that I have in my house. Anyway, a year and a half ago, I was introduced to yoga through a college course that I took where the first third of the class, we would discuss yoga, talk about the principles of yoga and um, how we can apply them in our daily lives. And then we would spend the rest of the class actually practicing. At this time, I was in my like peak fitness, I guess you could say at the time. Um, I was lifting in the gym five days a week. I was very strong, feeling really good but I still found yoga extremely challenging, um, both mentally and physically, because it utilizes concepts and ideas that just weren't present for me in my gym sessions. And even in the physical movements, it uses muscles that I wasn't even aware of. It uses parts of my body that I wasn't even, didn't know that I could move. When you lift, at least in the way that I was practicing it, you do everything in rotation. Every day, every movement, every every lift that you do um, focuses in on a particular group of muscles. Um, you know, most people who are doing hypertrophy training, which is the most common thing, you do leg day, chest day, back day, even compound movements where you're doing squats, which utilizes your core and your legs. It is still focusing on a specific group of muscles versus in yoga, the entire concept is to bring awareness into the full body. It starts centered with your breath and you have to bring awareness into, you know, all the way from the tips of your fingers to the angles of your hips, to what your toes are doing, whether your weight is in the ball of your foot or your heels, what your core is doing, what your face is doing. It's all about every bit of your body working in harmony to create balance, both mentally and physically in the asanas, which those are the poses. Lifting taught me to appreciate my body and how amazing my body was and to do the amazing things that it's capable of. Yoga helped me reclaim that connection with my body, that mind-body-spirit connection that I was missing. It brought my mental awareness and my spirit back into my body, grounding myself back into my body as a whole. So it was no longer me in the body that I was in, it was me. In this combination of exploring fitness and what my physical body is capable of and becoming more aware of my body and getting to know my body better, this has been an incredible outlet for me as far as rebuilding that relationship with my body that I'd suffered for so long under years of dealing with dysmorphia. I spent so long just wishing that my body was different, that I had a different body. And now I can't imagine wanting to be anywhere else, wanting to be anybody else but me. I am actually writing a book about this and about um, me redefining my relationship with my body after suffering with dysmorphia. Um, which, you know, I'm not going to go into, that's why I didn't go into huge detail in this video, but I did just want to pop on here with you guys and share with you my thoughts on things that I learned from practicing yoga versus things that I learned from lifting and what fitness as a whole has done for me as somebody who um, has suffered with self-esteem issues in regards to my body. Though I am a NASM certified personal trainer, I am not an expert in mental health and am just sharing my experiences with you in my journey to self-love and recovery. And I think that it's important to talk about these things. I'm just sharing my experiences and hoping that, you know, maybe somebody else can benefit from hearing my story. So let's chat in the comments, whether you're somebody who 
does yoga, is into fitness, or is not at all, what's your perspective on this? I will be responding to comments as long as the video is still new. Or just, you know, drop a comment and tell me how you're doing today. What are your plans for today? What are you drinking? What do you got going on? I want to thank you very, very much for joining me today for a little bit more of a serious talk over coffee. Not all my videos are like this. Um, it's mostly just you and I getting together in our pajamas and talking about whatever's going on in our minds. Go ahead and subscribe if you would like to meet with me three to five times a week. I would be super, super happy to see you there. Um, it's, again, we're still in a, in a certain global situation in which we don't really get to, you know, meet people for coffee and chat with each other, so I thought maybe we could do it here. You can follow me on all of the social medias listed below at Broke Goddessery, and you should also subscribe to my blog's email list, which I will include the link to my blog down below. Clearly, I am still working on doing the whole outro thing, cause, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I love and appreciate you all so, so, so much. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.